Hey guys, uh, I'm passing here very quickly just to to share with you uh, a very nice, uh, a very nice Google uh, artificial intelligence based system. I mean, it's like yeah, it's, I'm not the first one to talk about that, and you you can find a huge amount of video on YouTube talking about that. But I was very happy if this interface. Uh, uh, it, that even helped me on my current ebook and that and design because I'm very bad at drawing. At, at drawing. So uh, essentially, this interface uh, can help you to to make a draw. Uh, it's based on artificial intelligence. I did a kind of research and Google didn't it seemed that Google didn't didn't release the details of this artificial intelligence basis. I, I honestly believe, believe that it's a kind of uh, kind of. Uh, I'm not sure, but I would I would guess a kind of uh, uh, input output network in which you have some kind of uh, draw. Then you ask people to show you what they want, uh, what they want to, to draw. So you start to have a better idea about uh, what people mean by because we as a human have a huge ability. Because if you make you a draw, even a bad, a bad, very bad. Draw, you are able to think about what I what I want. Uh, even the fact that you make some kind of a, a cartoon, if you take a cartoon, the cartoon sometimes, for example, the woodpecker cartoon. If you compare the the true woodpecker with the cartoon, there is nothing to do with the cartoon. But uh, somehow our brain is able to guess what the cartoon wants to say. So sometimes you don't need to draw uh, to draw too much in order to uh, make something that makes sense. Our brain makes sense. So. I will honestly guess. I will on, honestly uh, try to guess that they have a kind of uh, uh, input-output system. Maybe they are, they are using the TensorFlow, uh, TensorFlow JS that I'm studying now, based on deep learning. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video because I'm I'm preparing a video. I'm, I'm I think to prepare a course about uh, I think to prepare a course about uh, deep learning JavaScript. So deep learning JavaScript for machine learning, uh, which is a, a TensorJS. I'm going to leave in the description of the video some article that have been right about the topic. So I think to prepare my next Udemy course on this topic. So that is something that you can give me your thoughts. Uh, what to think about JavaScript, of course, about JavaScript in the Angular. That is the topic. So on uh, the second part, I will show you this kind of awesome as well. I was able to find not designed by me, but designed by somebody else. Uh, Angular system uh, using. Uh, I'm also going to leave in the description of the video for you. But it's Angular using this API of Google. Uh, the, uh, somehow this API here is not as awesome as the original one. Maybe uh, Google didn't release the original one, just to release a kind of demo, a kind of sample, maybe. Uh, the person that designed this uh, this this uh, Angular uh, interface here didn't use the the uh, the latest uh, version of the API. So uh, if I add that to my course, I will make sure to double check that they they really used the latest version of the API. So essentially, what you have here is a pre-trained neural network. Uh, pre-trained neural network is mean that it has already been trained. So but it, it, it was able to learn as far as far as understood from some video I found there was, was some information I found the internet. Uh, it was able to learn because whenever you make a draw here, I'm going to show you, and the, you, you pick one, uh, they're going to learn that uh, you have to pick that. So it's going to create a kind of uh, learning system always like Google Translator. Google Translator in the beginning was pretty bad. So nowadays you can like uh, uh, say to Google Translate that that's a bad translate, that's a good translation. So in the end you are you are trained the, their their neural network or their artificial intelligence. I believe that behind here, based on my research, based on my experience with machine learning, I believe the system is the same. I create a kind of learning machine system. So here the same as as, as I told, but I believe the API is not as good in the as well the. The drawing part here is, is not as well as awesome as this one here. Here you have several options. You can even use that on your you know day live. I, I use that recently in my in my ebook. So when you try to 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 to, to draw, I mean I'm very I'm pretty bad at drawing. So uh, see I, I was like play, 
play playing around with the artificial intelligence. So that's not what I want to draw. But you already have some kind of uh, option here, so like a glass, maybe like uh, quite close from a glass. But I want a, a car. But uh, I want a, let's see, on a pretty maybe awesome car, maybe a, a family car. Now let's see if they can guess. Yes, here that's what I want. See, that's awesome because uh, sorry, uh, you have to. Uh, I am use a, a virtual pencil, so I have to, ch to choose this one here, uh, the selector. So you can move around. It's pretty awesome because you can play around. You can make it bigger. You can like uh, make like this. So maybe you want here. Uh, maybe you wanna make a kind of uh, uh, like it, when you like physically like myself. Uh, if you give private lessons, maybe you want to do something like this to teach your student. Uh, let's see, quite awesome. Maybe, I mean, the, the position wrong, but I uh, still I can move. Uh, uh, it's pretty, not like the best, but anyway. So that is, as you can see, it's quite awesome. Uh, maybe we can move a little bit more, you know, just like here. I mean, they put everything together. Here. Anyway, uh, you can do a uh, kind of uh, on your own. Uh, let's suppose you are trying to, to show that uh, to make uh, a point uh, there because you have a uh, kind of uh, you wanna uh, you wanna you wanna you wanna explain to your student that this car can stay. Uh, suppose that you wanna uh, see that it works as well the shortcut. Do the control Z. And you see you can okay, move back what you did. So maybe you want to show your student how, uh, that there is a kind of a uh, uh, kind of force here. I mean, I'm eating to use that to my private lessons because I mean, when I give less about physics, uh, let's suppose here you can put uh, uh, car. So see, that's quite awesome. That's what I want to show you. Uh, unfortunately, as I told you, that's a, it's a Google experiment. So I mean, somehow they didn't release the. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't able to find the code here for this interface. It's quite awesome. Maybe Google do not want to release. But I was able to find this interface here. It's not awesome as this one. But anyway, for example, as well, when I try to when I try to draw here, I do not have the same kind of freedom that I have there because for example, I am using a, a, a pencil, a kind of. A, uh, a table pencil you know, instead of a mouse but he, I have to click so that's kind, kind of boring but let's try uh, it, 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 behind that it's a canvas canvas I can show you I'm not sure you as you see that's not as, as awesome as the other one yeah, as a, you don't have glass here as I, as I, as I explained to you previously it seems that the API this, this person is using is different from the API that they have, so that's supposed to be. I mean, suppose I want to draw to, to make a glass, but let's see if they, if they let's see if they can guess at least the car. Yeah, I was playing around with that, that was not as good as the other one, it was pretty bad. Yeah, uh, close enough. Yeah, this one, uh, but you don't have it. This one, you don't have the all the all the nice, awesome, you don't have the you don't have the. Uh, you don't have the, let's say, the comeback function. I, I mean, it's like just for each player. I make this mistake here, I can come back. I have to. So, um, I mean, because just, I mean, the person, I guess, the person just, just did that. Uh, but that's still awesome. Uh, just show you our, our class, the middle description. This is Angular. Uh, you have here, uh, there is a service. Uh, they make the call to the API and so on. This is here uh, to the uh, outdoor API, as you can see here. Uh, and uh, that's it. I mean, I just want to show you. So uh, please drop your thought on the fact that I wanted to make a, a course. And I'm, I'm strongly, I'm strongly uh, thinking about to make a course, my next course in Udemy. About the JavaScript in, in the TensorJ, I mean, more precisely about Angular in TensorJS. More specifically, I wanted to make a course about the machine learning in the Angular because I have been playing play around with that. Let, let me just show you 
out of the blue here. Uh, I will leave on the description of the video here for you. Uh, and this is the let me see if I have no, I don't have here. This is the not the current version. Uh, the current version you have a more more awesome thing to save the linear aggression. I have more like no linear two layers so on, but it's not the the current version. Uh, but if you play here, I mean, I, I'll see if I can post for you the, the the latest version here. So when you click in the link that I leave in the description, you'll be able to find the you'll be able to find the the uh, the network behind here. Uh, that's a uh, it's a Tensu JS. Uh, uh, this is this front end design in Angular. Um, uh, behind that, it's a it's a it's a Tensu JS uh, Tensu JS. Uh, uh, things such as like library, I mean, it's like you can you, you make API for, I mean, that's not the reason why of this video, so I'm just so showing that uh, out of curiosity, uh, just for you, uh, it's like uh, so you can see. So, my, my thoughts, uh, they are on the, I mean, you are, uh, I already have, I believe, I'll make sure to leave for you in the description of the video some articles that have been right about the topic. So I think to organize all that, uh, all that thinking, all that uh, study into uh, uh, Udemy course. Uh, so the, the course will be focused on Angular and the deep learning, uh, more specifically about uh, uh, TensorJS. So here uh, you have all the all the graph. It's quite what's a little bit awesome that. It, that's not very hard to create this, this. I mean, I was surprised just to be to be uh, to be like uh, to be honest. I was quite surprised how easy it is uh, to create this kind of draw, uh, this kind of graph. There is there is a, a, a library. I don't, I'm not sure if it was designed by the guy, the peep from Tenso or from Tenso uh, JS, but uh, it is what's designed to be used with Tenso JS. So. Uh, it's not very hard to do that. I mean, I was even surprised. The new version of the application, I will try to leave it for you here. When you click after you see the video, you see that uh, I have in, I have added much more graphs and so on. I have added here a kind of I mean, leave as well for you in the description of the video. The article in which I create a system to calculate. There is an NPA package I created as well. You can use in your own application and work on this kind of stuff right now. So that's all, guys. Uh, please leave me your thoughts, leave your for me your your your, your opinion. So uh, have a nice day. Did you like the content of this channel? So please subscribe to the channel. It's quite simple. You just have to hit subscribe, and you have you can decide which level of the notification you want. You may choose all the notification, which means that everything that I do, you receive a notification on your, on your bell here, on the upper corner, or you can choose no notification. I would strongly recommend you to subscribe, even if you don't want to receive all the notifications. Just hit here, no notification, or hit the one that you like the most. It's pretty important that you subscribe to the channel so I, I can achieve a high number, a high number of subscribers and people can as well understand that this channel has a nice content to offer and YouTube will understand as well that it can make a nice divulgation of the channel so please subscribe to the channel